right let's talk steroids guys let's talk about steroids let's talk about steroids let's talk about steads gear whatever you want to call it i think uh obviously you're here this is a bodybuilding channel right like we're looking to build muscle we're looking to get big and that steroids are a huge part of the game they're a huge part of the game um, and we can't ignore the elephant in the room here like yeah we're eating our meals we're sleeping we're training but steroids is a part of this bodybuilding game So in this video, I'm gonna give you three things to consider before you go to the dark side. And make sure you keep watching until the end of the video where I'll give you my personal opinion on the topic and whether or not I'll eventually go to the dark side. Disclaimer before I get into the first consideration is this is a personal choice. And that is, it's eventually gonna come down to really what you wanna do. But like I said, I think it's really important that you make these considerations first. Consideration number one, what is your goal? And does your goal warrant you having to do steroids? Do you want to be an IFBB pro and have this as your career? Do you want to make a living off of bodybuilding or do you want to just look big in a commercial gym? You have to really consider what your goal is because that's going to dictate whether or not you need to take them. You're not going to be Mr. Olympia naturally. So that again, like what is your goal? Does it require it? Next consideration is the price of commitment. Do you have the funds to be able to actually take steroids safely? So we don't have the capacity. <laughs> it's all well and good buying the gear, buying the drugs, but there are other costs that come with that. So you've got to think about the supplementation that comes with that to make sure your organs don't explode. You've got to think about the diagnostic tests that you're going to be doing. So for example, tests that you might be doing on your heart, scans, etc. All of these things are a cost. The, the quality of the, of the gear that you're going to get and the quality of, of the drug, that's going to have an impact on the price. Think of it as like the price of admission. If you really want to do it properly and you really want to do things safely in a, in a smart way, you're going to have to think about the, the cost and, and investment as well. So that is the second consideration, the price of admission. And finally, last but not least, your health. You need to have a consideration for your health, what you're putting in, how is that going to have an impact on your physical, but not only your physical, also your mental health as well. We know that steroids are gonna have an impact on blood pressure, your lipid profile, your kidneys, your liver. Uh, just, it, it's going to take years off of your life. We, we know that's gonna have an impact on your hair. Like, <laughs> do you care about having your hair? Because a lot of bodybuilders are bold. Does that have an impact on your mental health? Um, all these things that you need to consider with regards to your health. Also, your mental health is adjusting your hormones, taking hormones going to have an impact on you as a person. And again, that's another thing to consider. So last reason really is your health. Are you willing to pay the price with your health to then reach that goal? So what is my opinion? The moment you've been waiting for, will I ever go to the dark side? And the answer is no, I won't. And it's for those exact reasons. I've had that conversation with myself many times. The goal for me is not the Olympia stage. I don't want to be a, an IFBB pro. I don't need to put my health at risk. I'm also not willing to have that financial burden that comes with taking steroids, that comes with making sure that I'm still healthy, you know? So natural bodybuilding is for my own choice, like the, the, the wiser one, the smarter one one where I can still maintain my health, I can still do what I enjoy doing, which is training, which is competing, and not have the risks associated with, with taking anabolics. So, um, like I said, make sure you are considering those things before you make the decision. If you found this video useful, make sure to obviously drop a like and a subscribe as well. There's gonna be content every single week for you guys. New content on bodybuilding, training, nutrition. So make sure you're locked in for that. I really appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time.